love for your leaders. Yeah. Are you still there? Yeah. There's a certain amount of love you should have for your leaders, a certain amount of love you should have for your ministry. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. If you don't have that love for your ministry, you will not perform the way you ought to. Yeah. If you don't have that love, and that love brings respect and honor for those who leave over us. Then we won't perform the way we ought to perform. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. When you're on a job and you like your boss, not because of the favors Amen. that he might do for you, but because of how we handle the job. Are you still it? So you approve of the way he does things. It makes you feel comfortable. I was telling you. It makes you feel relaxed. So you can work at peace. Is that all right? In confidence that you and the boss have a good relations. Is that all right? Come on, give the Lord something. These are the qualities and the things that we hope for in ministry. Amen. Amen. It means that there is a little bending somewhere mm. to be done in each of our lives. Yeah. A little bending. So, the areas where you used to have and say, I don't like him. Amen. And I don't like she. Amen. And I don't understand this one. And I don't understand that one. It means you need to get the Holy Ghost to correct that in your life. Amen. Because we are working together Amen. with Jesus. Are you said it? Amen. We are workmen together with Jesus. Yes. So we all have to work together to build and establish the work of the Lord. Amen. 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 Establishing the kingdom on earth. And uh, like I said before, God is pointing us to something higher. Amen. 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 And the higher you go, is the more persecution you will get. Higher level of persecution. Is that all right? Amen. 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 So prepare yourself. I said prepare yourself. Yeah. Prepare your mind. Amen. To receive persecution. Amen. 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 Are you still here tonight? Amen. Prepare yourself as leaders. Amen. Ask me this to you. When we started off the ministry, people tell him all kinds of things. Access to Nisa, when they started off, they tell him all kinds of things. There was all kinds of criticism about his ministry and this man of God. And, and he doesn't know what he's doing and all kinds of crazy things. They would say, is that all right? Amen. But when God begins to establish you and God begins to perform, then criticism begins to cease. Amen. Are you still here? Amen. Because they can't deny the power of God. Is that all right? Amen. The things that it's seen, it can't deny. Amen. 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 But it can try to pull down somewhere when they get a chance. Amen. But you are the ones God is raising up the silence, the Amen. voices. Is that all right? Amen. Silence those voices. Amen. Because you are the ones who will see and will perform. Is that Amen. all right? Amen. As good leaders, that's Amen. what we do. Amen. Amen. You know something, something I like about some of those Orthodox churches. You never hear about Bacchanal in the Catholic Church. I mean, the membership. You never hear about Bacchanal in the Adventist Church. You think they don't have? Oh, yeah, they have real things going on. <laughs> they have real things going on. But they have their confidence. They have their confidence. Are you still here tonight? They have their confidence. And we must win each other's confidence. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. The brethren, the brother, the sister, what is spoken or what is what has been told to you about your lifestyle and what is wrong, what is right, Amen. should never be thrown out. Amen. It should always be kept in prayer and seeking God. Is that all right? Amen. So that we perform. You know, the Bible said that we must what? Cover one another's heads. What the Bible says? What the Bible says about the brother sister? That we must bear one another's burdens. Is that all right? Amen. What
whatever load they carry, help them with it, support them. Because you came through your rough times too, and they are now coming through. Are we still here? Yeah. So you'll find a variety of believers in the midst. Amen, is that all right? Yeah. So we all cannot be on the same level all the time. Yeah. Amen, is that all right? Yeah. So we bear each burdens. We respect each other's disposition. Yeah. We love each other as children of God. Is that all right? Yeah. And we lift up one another. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. Yeah. They're going to have true leadership. True leadership. Amen. Amen. So come the mighty arm of God. Press it in. Press it in. Is that all right? Yeah. Come and give the Lord something. Yeah. Praise yeah. Him. Yeah. As time goes by, we're going to study the, the 20, 60, 100 fold ministry. Yeah. So you know exactly where God is placing us. Amen. Amen. This ministry is called for revival. Amen. I want to cut it short. Amen. So you have to know the purpose that God did this ministry for. Amen. 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 With that, you'll know how to direct your prayers Amen. as leaders. You'll have to know how to have others direct your prayers. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. We are called for revival. Revival means that we must first be revived. If we are not revived, we can revive others. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. Which means prayer is the key. The wheel must be turning. Are we still here? Amen. Amen. The wheel must be turning. Turn. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So tonight, uh, without much further, I want to call Sister Longer, who is our head of the intercessory prayer. Amen. She will take over for me, eh?